lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit. And I'm filming this video a little bit early, but the last few days have been absolutely insane. And the next couple I feel are gonna be not as busy, but still busy. So I have a few minutes. I'm going to sit down and film this video now. So this is my update for Pan That Face Palette. And you guys, this palette has been a very slow start, but a very fast, uh, middle if you want to call it that so i have the palette beside me but i'm not going to actually show you guys the palette i will take a photo and post it just because my powdered shade is crumble crumbling and i need to repress it and i just haven't had the chance to do that yet so it's going to fall all over the place but i will post a photo of each shade when i'm chatting about it just to show you guys what it looks like so Let's chat about that crumbly, crumbly mess. So that is the Moonlight Powdered Shade and I had been making some really good progress on this. It had started to actually like move in the pan. It was like kind of moving around the edge of the pan and then it ended up crumbling, like breaking apart into three sections and now it's just crumbling into like tiny little pieces. So I've been lightly dipping my brush into it and trying to use it. But I have to be very careful and I'm starting to lose a little pieces here and there. So I do want to repress this like hopefully sooner than later and then actually get to using it again. But I feel like once I repress it and I'll be able to use it, it's not going to take me very, very long to use up whatsoever. So I'm very excited that I'm so close to actually finishing this shade. But at the same time, I'm really upset that it actually like broke apart on me because the Celestial shade never did that. I was able to use that up no problem one go round. So I am a little bit disappointed in the shade, um, but nonetheless, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to get my use out of it and I'm going to finish it. And then we have the cream moonlight shade and I've been making really good progress on this one as well. I haven't looked at photos from the last update, so I can't quite remember if I had hit pen last month or not. I feel like I did, but it has expanded quite quite a lot. So I'm very happy with the progress on this shade as well. Even though I feel like the Celestial shade took me a lot longer to hit pan in and use up, I feel like this Moonlight shade is going pretty quick. And I'm using it under my base, on top of my base. When I'm remembering, I'm using it on my shoulders and whatnot as well. Sometimes I'm only using it once on my face because I'm forgetting for whatever reason. But nonetheless, I'm still making good progress on it. So I do know that this is going to be in here for a few more months. It is August, so it is going to be in here probably until like fall time. I want to say October, maybe even November. But honestly, I feel like I'll still be able to get away with it at least up until October. I do start to lose my tan a little bit. Not that I'm very dark, I'm super pale still in the summertime, but I am a lot more tan than I normally am. Um, but even if I just use it under my base, just to get the use out of it, to be able to finish it up, because at this point I really want to. I know I'd mentioned before that even if I just finish off the powder shades, I will be happy. Where I'm sitting at right now with what this palette's looking like, I would want to finish off all of it and just completely finish it off because that is just where I'm at right now and that's what I'm going to do and I'm so motivated and determined to do so that it will happen and it's hopefully going to happen. I'm looking at it and I'm trying to think how long it's going to take. I'm really hoping that it's going to be before the end of this year because that would just be an accomplishment in itself considering I felt like this palette was going nowhere for the longest time. I'm pretty sure it took like a good solid five months for it to even hit pan in the first shade and I finally have been like soaring through it since then so I do feel like it's gonna happen it will happen and it's going to happen before the end of this year I will make sure of that but that is what the palette is looking like so I'm hoping that the cream shade has a lot more expansion on it by the next update and I'm really hoping that the powdered shade I don't think I'll finish it off by the next update uh, probably the one after, but I'm okay with that because I do like this palette. I do like that shade. And if it's in here for a while, then that's not a problem. I actually really like wearing this one alone as well. Um, I always was layering my other highlighter or the celestial shade with other highlighters, but for just a very simple 
even like a glow within. I feel like that's what this Moonlight shade gives me. It's more of like a glow within look. So sometimes I do actually like wearing it on its own. So I will, again, be super sad when it's completely finished off. But it's a very bittersweet, uh, a bittersweet thing for me. Because this, this shade is one that I actually really, really enjoy. And I don't think you can get it anymore. So it's sad that Moonlight by cover effects will officially be out of my collection for good but it is what it is there's so many other highlighters out there I'm sure I can find one that will do justice for that shade for myself so anyways that is it so it was a very short and quick update I wish I could actually show you guys the palette but hopefully the photos did justice for now and I will see you guys all in the next one bye